Welcome to another Neville update, your straight to the point, no BS, NBA recap. I got you covered. the narrative changes, especially in the Eastern Conference. Surprising to most, the Heat ended Boston's 16-game winning streak. 8-10 left. Olenek, look out! The Kelly Osho! Possession game right now. Does he want to foul? Does he want to go for the steal? Raiders slams it through on a great inbounds play! While the Cavs have quietly won seven straight games, since those Arthur memes, LeBron James has been putting up nearly a triple-double every night, and his squad hasn't lost in two weeks. LeBron says it. Oh! In the half. Steps back for three this time. Ah, he was! And you play to your strength as far as when you shoot the ball and how you shoot it. LeBron had to give it up. Yeah, says it. They're defending well and really starting to click offensively. But speaking of defense, how about that Thunder defense, though? Making a huge statement against the Warriors, playing on attack for a full 48 minutes. Good players right now, Mark. Durant to the basket, taken away. Durant. Here comes Westbrook. Paul George for three. Broke AC. Ball again taken away by Grant. Second time he's done that on Westbrook. Anthony for three. We can all admit, Russell Westbrook plays with a whole other level of passion against the Warriors, right? Day, so he puts the time in to be great at it. Westbrook and the foul! Lonzo Ball cut his hair. Yes, this, this is news. And he reminded people that he knows how to dunk a basketball. And better yet, they stopped talking about his shot for a whole day, 24 hours, a whole day. Lonzo Ball's shot wasn't mentioned, not once. Teams like the 76ers. Sub for Brett Brown, he's in there for Jared Bayless. Simmons only in- Pelicans. The last three games, the lead for him. Mid-range, why not? It'll be Cousins, and he's going hard. And Timberwolves. As the Magic got off to that incredibly hot start to the season. Butler. All won close games with young stars continuing to prove that they're ready to take things to the next level. CP3 returned very nicely, and James Harden continues to play at an MVP caliber level every night. The Rockets are still sitting atop of the West, and they look like the real deal. In a game with seven All-Stars on the court, and the battle between reigning MVP and finals MVP did not disappoint. KD returning for the first time since winning his ring against the OK3. Let's just say Russ didn't bake him any cupcakes, but things did get pretty heated. Stolen by Westbrook, but he couldn't hold on. <laughs> Westbrook <laughs> saying no. Can you money? Take the hammers. Let me shine it. Now you want me? This is going to have to Come on, Katie. You're down 17 at halftime. Scoreboard! We get it. You're just upset that your ex has moved on and seems rather happy without you. And Russ is basically saying, face the facts. We're coming for you guys. We'll see you in the playoffs. So, who do you think Jason Kidd likes more? Steel's team, Utah. Separation. Jason Kidd kind of saw this happening. He was out to call a timeout and immediately calls a timeout after the defense gets scrambled following the Giannis turnover. Game tied at 81. Wait, so just to clarify, who's Milwaukee's once-in-a-generation superstar franchise player and who's the assistant coach? Whose name we didn't know before all this happened? Okay, that's what I thought. I'm not sure if this is a boogie reputation call or if the reigning MVP has expanded his acting range with all the commercials he's been doing. Could be a little bit of both. Westbrook has the rebound. He comes up short on the putback. And then Cousins clearing room with his elbows. Westbrook. 
textbook goes down hard, and that may be the textbook example of a flagrant two. To be fair, Cousins does know a thing or two about flopping, so we should trust his judgment, right? To the standard of last year, as Cousins does a little acting with the baby, not up to the standard of last year. As Cousins does a little acting with Reminding us more and more of Shaq every day, Joel Embiid is always putting on a show and has so much fun while he's doing it. And now he's urging the fans to rise and cheer! Blocks the shot, then the stare down, and taunts him into losing his cool. Boom! Tee him up, ref! Special shout out to the 2006 NBA Coach of the Year, Avery Johnson, who many people forget was on the Spurs championship team that started the San Antonio winning tradition. Christicott, a scuffle underneath. The entire bench from Alabama has been ejected from this game. His number 25 ranked Alabama team, led by Colin Sexton, who dropped 40 points, played three on five for more than 10 minutes after almost the whole team got ejected for leaving the bench in the second half. Those three went on a 30 to 22 run to almost beat the number 14 ranked Minnesota. Here he comes Sexton himself got it. That had to have been the greatest loss in NCAA history. I've never seen anything like it. That's all I've got for this Neville update, but be on the lookout for a new NBA recap video every Monday. Special shout out to my co-producer Winston Marshall. I'll see you all next week. Thanks for watching.